Cancer, how you all doing? <laughs> are you ready for 2021, Cancer? I bet you all are. <laughs> so, I'm Rachel Stebbins Navy, aka Valencia Strega, here with your 2021 forecast. I switch it up a little bit, do a Celtic cross style for you all so I can get a broader picture of things and time frames, uh, references as it were. And I'll clarify that up a little bit. I'll maybe pull one or two more cards, see what, what it is Spirit wants you to know. And then, Cancer, we will be off to the races with this. Uh, keep in mind, Cancer, that this is a general reading and will not apply to everyone. And, well, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave me a comment below. So let's see what's going on. By the way, it is Tarot in the Dark. Right? Can you see that, that light through the window? So I will ring the bell. Let spirits come in. The evening ones. Good spirits that love you, Cancers. Yes. Because not all spirits love you. Certainly not for everyone all the time. You gotta you gotta recognize the ones that do. Or or call in those that do, I should say. So let's see what's happening. Cancer, you're coming out with the Knight of Wands energy. So that is representing you for the year 2021 at large, like like just for all the months, all the challenges, the whole whole shebang, the whole 365 calendar days here. What's crossing you? Well, you got some sort of something you're letting go of. Uh, this could be a third party relationship. This could be something uh, in your environment that, you know, pulls out your heartstrings a lot. It really is something that you um, you feel that it, it would be harming you to stay in a situation with, uh, be harming yourself to stay in a situation with. But this Knight of Wands energy here is indicating to me that, hey, whatever the new thing is, is you're, you're going after it pretty hard and fast here. Uh, that you are very determined, that you have that get up and go mentality that says, um, I, I get on board or get out of my way with this. Hopes and fears are not really hopes and fears, but what's above you is a star card energy. Beautiful. What's below you, the ground you stand on, is the high priestess. In the past for you, well, oh, is the tower. Yes, something is definitely coming in to shake you up, Cancer. What is in front of you, beautiful, is some peace of mind, finally. <laughs> now, looking at this section of the cross here, I'll go into uh, what's above you a little bit. This is kind of like your thoughts. Well, it looks like you, you're hoping for inspiration and or you're inspiring others uh, this year, Cancer. This could also be the earlier time frame uh, of the year, so January through probably March kind of time frame, maybe April. Uh, what's below you? We're looking at the high priestess energy. So it's that deeper wisdom. That's that intuition. Uh, it's nice when the star and the and the high priestess show up because it's really you tapping into your your inner self, your higher self, and uh, making decisions and choices formulated on that. But I definitely see here uh, something perhaps leaving the year 2020 or, or beginning 2021 where, you know, the divine kind of steps in, shakes things up a little bit. And no doubt it's, it's in relation to this uh, Three of Swords energy here that's crossing you for the year. Bear in mind, though, this is a positive change, Cancer, as, you know, somewhere down the road, uh, maybe around time of summer, maybe fall. Uh... Let me see, Major Arcanas. Uh, we have the High Priestess, and, oh, we have a Star Card Energy. So it could be Aquarius season, perhaps even uh, February uh, into, into uh, or late January into February. And, um, well, perhaps, again, summertime, maybe sometime around uh, Virgo season, uh, Libra, uh, somewhere in that energy. But you do have uh, the divine offering you a gift. So as one thing is let go of, indeed something new uh, does come to fruit. And the positive is moving forward in that situation in order to bring you that satisfaction, that emotion of fulfillment and peace of mind. It's, if this is, a, is an energy of um, 
relationships indeed you're letting go of no, what no longer serves you you're getting the hell up out of dodge and you're saying i'm doing me for a while which by the way your song as i was contemplating your energy here cancer was uh michael jackson's don't stop to get enough right okay where are we going with these yeah we've got nope switch them okay we've got your attitude about the situation uh going into the new year cancer is seven of swords energy perhaps you've been feeling like somebody's been taking advantage of you and perhaps they have uh, but you've had enough of that crap and or you're being a little greedy might be you're taking on too much of a of something maybe someone in your environment or maybe you feel like someone in in your environment most likely has been doing something behind your back uh how others view you well it may come off a tad bit on the cold side in other words people may notice people may also notice that you're not taking anybody's shit anymore uh this queen of swords energy here thank you spirit Queen of Swords energy here is telling me that uh, you're speaking your mind now, uh, but it's not just telling me, it's telling others around you, because this is the card that is is what uh, influences the situation, how other people influence the situation, and this is you essentially standing up for yourself, or at least saying, hey, I'm not putting up with this anymore. you got a little bit of wit behind you. You're starting to rationalize things a little bit more, intellectualize them, and other people are taking notice. Seven of Swords, by the way, is the card of your attitude on the situation. So you're either taking too much or you're recognizing like, hey, <laughs> this shit's going on behind my back. I've had enough of it again. You, you're no one's messing with you now <laughs> that's the energy you may have decided though because what's in your hopes and dreams spot is the three of pentacles energy so maybe you're deciding to upgrade your employment situation maybe you're deciding to uh, go on for higher learning uh, you may be in a position perhaps where uh, you're learning from a master of sorts. You're maybe doing some sort of apprenticeship, entrepreneurship that leads your business maybe down a more uh, financially successful path. So let's take a look at the outcome of this situation. In just a minute, Snow, because I can't pause this time. Okay, bud? Yeah. <laughs> All right, one more. One more for the outcome, please. For cancer for 2021. Thank you. Yeah, you've got the divine divine coming in. This is actually in reverse, though. Uh, the divine is coming in to bring you some clarity on a situation here, uh, cancer. But it's taking its time. Uh, it's not it's not a rapid moving thing. It's it's slow going. Uh, but this is definitely that sort of clarity, clearing up your thoughts. Uh, we still have out on the. The table here, yeah, I like this. I like this. Whatever you're doing this coming year, Cancer, you're inspiring others. You, you're, you're coming to terms with something, really, is what it is. And maybe the, the bigger dream you have, uh, it looks like, is going to take some time. Uh, things need to get worked out, cleared up. Again, rationalize, be thoughtful about things uh, in order to to uh, get you where you want to be but again you're you're moving forward and you're you're like okay like I'm I'm with this I'm on board with this now and uh, I'm not giving up I'm not uh, I'm not I guess lollygagging comes to mind you're, you're just not you're not fooling around anymore cancer which is beautiful you mean business on the situation, and you're going after what it is that you want. Let's see. Can I have three cards to summarize? Four. Thank you. Four month projections, please. We got six of cups energy, maybe a childhood friend in the mix here, some, some nostalgia you're working with. Page of wands, you got a lot of ideas, perhaps. Uh, but you may need some help sorting them out along the way. Indeed, the, all these swords are out here. And uh, let's see. One more, please. What do we got? For Cancer 2021. Oh, close. Right, one more, please. Thank you. Oh, same card. All right. And then we got Four of Wands energy. So, Cancer, you're cleaning up the space. 
you're you're I don't mean to sound cliche because it, but but it's here it is that out with the old in with the new you're letting go again of something that no longer serves you perhaps an old childhood friends helping out along the way perhaps someone who you know um, cherished memories with uh, is at play here or perhaps you're reconnecting with your inner child on a situation in order to move forward from it what you want to be careful about uh, is how you take your actions. So truly, this is an intellectual process. You don't want to be Mr. Balls to the Wall over here, Cancer, and blindly go after things. I don't think you are because of this this uh, Queen of Swords energy. That's how others are, are viewing the situation. But you want to make sure you've gathered all the facts that you... Um, rationalize things, sit with things for a while uh, before you take any personal action because otherwise that tower may, may mess with you a little bit. That tower card energy, of course, you know, as I said before, is a divine stepping in, shaking things up a little bit. What you didn't anticipate and what is no longer for your highest good will get shaken up for you so that way you can go down the path you're meant to be on. Again, you may want some guidance and support along the way because you have all these wonderful ideas and passions and etc., uh, but you but you may need some help to facilitate them, to put them into action. What inevitably uh, this looks like, though, again, is your Four of Wands energy meets your, your uh, Ace of Swords here. Now, again, it may take a little bit of time, but all those wonderful things are coming, Cancer. You are making them happen. You, the action is, is, is here. You may be getting something else that you want and didn't anticipate you were you were going to get at all here in this in this particular instance in this particular year, but uh, the Four of Wands is re representing a celebration in in anticipation of change. So that said, Cancer, it's looking like a a rough start possibly to the year, the new year, but it. It's all coming together for you, uh, at least by summertime, maybe even as soon as Aquarius season as it is. Can I get one more card, please, to uh, summarize 2021 for Cancer, please? Thank you, Spirit. One more card, please, for 2021 in Cancer. Thank you. Yeah, I've got an Eight of Wands energy. There is some change coming, Cancer. It's happening fast. Don't stop till you get enough, right? You you got to overcome whatever obstacle it is this year, right? That That's just out of nowhere. Tower moment, right? It's, it's happening soon if it hasn't happened already. Whatever is no longer suiting you, which is making you uncomfortable, which is making you doubt, doubt yourself, doubt somebody else, let that shit go, cancer, because you have big dreams. You have things you want to do, and you're a cancer energy. So you've got a big heart. Uh, you you want to share that love. But you're pretty smart, too. I can see that here. And others are thinking so, too, uh, with this Queen of Swords energy. You, um, you have some goals. And this year, something is happening that shakes it all up. So that way, you are either on the path you didn't think you could go down, or you're like, wait a minute, now I can do that. Either way, it's your year, Cancer. I wish you the best. If you'd like a more in-depth reading, of course, give me a shout. Uh, my email information and how to get a hold of me is either in my about, about section or down below. Blessed be. Take care and have a good year.